I'm going to show you behind the scenes, step by step, exactly how I took this self-portrait. Now I'm going to look pretty chilly, so I should probably dress for... Looks like we're ready to go. So I've been taking walks every single day since quarantine and I've passed this little lamp post and bench every single day and I told myself every single time I pass, I would take a self portrait here. Today is the day. It's been six months. Today is the day and I'm freezing. So drop a like in this video. It's gonna make me warmer, I promise. It'll help so much. Thank you. Okay, that was actually way faster than I thought it was gonna be. Mission accomplished, we got the shot. In one in one round, basically. One 60 round interval, so I'm happy. Uh, I got it, I'm gonna take it home, and we'll, we'll go edit it. Oh, do you mind if I jam out just a little bit? I'll talk, I'll teach you through it, but I, I kinda gotta get some tunes going if I'm gonna edit photos. You feel me? Thanks. Oh. So I'll be editing on Adobe Lightroom on the desktop. That's where I do all my editing. I used to do it on my phone. You can absolutely do it on your phone. So the first thing I do is have first cut. Um, I probably round out two thirds of them here. I do second round cuts and then typically I'm left with like two to 10 photos. I just pick one and I just start editing. And then typically I'll just copy and paste them if they're the same photo. In this case, we only really have to edit one photo, which is fantastic, uh, should be quick. So yeah, the hard work, the, the worst part about Editing photos is just going through them and finding the ones you want to edit. So let's get started. So some really important keyboard shortcuts that I use are the Z button and that selects a photo for you. And so when you do your first round, you can just go to filter, click only checked ones, the marked ones, and then you just go through that again. And then you just unmark the ones. Unmark is you. And then you just unmark the ones you don't want, keep the ones you do, and then you just keep dwindling down until you get to the few photos that you want to edit. All right, first round cuts are finished. Time to let those guys go. Boop. On to round two. Let's see who makes it. <sighs> all right, so I got them down to three. That's okay with me. I'm just gonna edit. They're all the same photo, basically. So I'm just gonna edit one, copy and paste. So you're gonna go to the right side onto edit and pull up presets. So if you're smart, you'll just go on YouTube or Google and just type in preset package, free Lightroom or something. So how I first got started is I went onto Peter McKinnon's YouTube and typed in presets. And he has, I think it's either free or really cheap, but he has a whole preset pack. And so I downloaded that to get me started. And then from then I've gone on to create like my own presets. I have about just as many as he does now. So if you let your mouse hover over each preset, it'll just like give you a, like a sample version of what it could look like. And I'll just scroll through all of them really quickly to see if there's one I like that I really vibe with. And if I do, then I'll just start with that. Okay, so I'm gonna go with my dark and moody preset that I created. Um, let's go ahead and click that. It's not exactly what I want. I don't like the red tint that it has. So I'm gonna just switch them so we go to red and makes it like orange. Um, so first off, let's just check out what my preset already looks like. So my exposure is set a little bit less, contrast hasn't been touched, my highlights are dropped down, my shadows are a little bit up, whites are up, blacks are about the same. Uh, I got like a somewhat of an S curve, which is pretty standard. Uh, I don't think I touched these, no, so these are good. Temperatures, 58, tint 7, vibrance. I got my colors here, so you can go through each color and adjust each one, which is super cool. Super cool, we're definitely gonna be messing with that a little bit, because I don't like the red. I wanna make it orange, just like it was in the original photo. Uh, let's go to effects, my clarity is up a little bit, the haze is up a little bit, uh, I have a little bit of a neck going. I'm probably gonna change a good bit of this stuff. And then this thing at the bottom is super important. I don't actually know what these buttons mean, I just know that if you click both of them off, it looks different than both of them clicked on. 
So I just usually go through and check both of them, see how it alters the photo. See, like it went to this, unclick both of them. Uh, I don't like that. I don't much like that. So I'm going to go back to, I'm going to check both of them. Let's make this picture world class. So I'm going to raise the exposure just a tad. I do want it dark and gloomy, but I want some light coming in. I don't think I'm going to touch the contrast. So if you bring the highlights up, it's basically the light. I do like the little rays that are coming out of it, so I'll keep it a little bit high. And shadows, so if you raise this too high up, it's going to look like you have like a smoke screen. Maybe not. Oh wow, it's actually pretty subtle. So typically when you raise all the shadows, if it's dark, it'll get like gray and that doesn't look great. It'll keep shadows at 33. My whites are at 29. That'll affect the lamp post a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'll keep it at 29. We'll go black's 28. Keep the S curve the same because if you drop this down, it just basically darkens the photo. It's already pretty dark. So I'm just gonna hit Control Z, undo. And I don't need to raise the highlights or like the spread. Well, actually, I'll yeah, we'll raise it up just a little bit. Okay, now we're at temperature. So if I drag this little thing to the right, it's gonna get more orangish yellow. If I go left, it's gonna be more colder, not as warm. So I'll just show you what that looks like if we go left, make it a colder photo. Not a huge difference because the only color really in this photo is orange. If we go all the way over, it just brightens the, the original orange. So we don't really need that. Tint, I'm gonna leave there. Vibrance, keep that down to zero. Saturation will drop, negative three. All right, here's for the color. I'm gonna go to red first. I'm gonna drag this top dial to the right just a tad, just to make it a little more orange. Um, and then saturation, bring that back to zero. Okay, moving on to the orange dial, which is really the only other one I'm gonna mess with because there's only orange in this photo. So we're gonna go to orange, go to luminance. That should mess really with like the brightness of this orange lamppost, yeah. So I'm going to raise that up a bit. I like that. Plus 33 in luminance. Saturation, drop it down to 10. Clarity, I think I'm gonna drop back down to plus six. My dehaze, I'll keep that at negative three. And I don't need a fig net, the picture is dark enough. Noise direction, let's zoom in a little bit and see if there's any noise that we need to clear out. Doesn't look like it. So I shot on a picture profile of basically, I just Googled nighttime photography settings on a camera and I just made a picture profile basically that and it's just picture, picture profile two for me so every time I shoot and it's after like 6 p.m. I just switch it to that and it pretty much takes care of most of my issues with low light and I'm shooting on a Sony a7 III so it's already made to like shoot phenomenally in low light which it does and I love it um, so noise noise reduction I'm gonna keep it at 30 just to be safe you know and then all right so we're gonna mess a little bit with the geometry make sure everything is straight because that is that is oh so frustrating when you post a picture and you just, I, at least me, like I'll just forget. Like I'll do everything and I'll just forget to straighten the little back line behind my head. So it looks like we are a tad bit not centered and we're not straight. So we're gonna have to adjust this a little bit. So we're gonna use the rotate tool. And just gonna kind of check it out. That looks pretty straight right there. So we're at plus 1.7 for rotate, it looks straight. And then we are, I do want to center it. I want me to be like di directly in the center. So we're going to, that's just because I'm a little picky. It's pretty centered, but we're going to go to X offset and we're just going to drag me. I think hold on, that's the center. That's the center line. So we'll go this way. Actually, I want my groin basically, or my face in line with the center line. So that looks pretty straight to me. And there's nothing on my right side. So it just looks a little off. It looks like too much weight on this side and nothing on this side. And it just doesn't look balanced. So we're gonna go back to what it was, which is, I want my foot to be on the center line. I like that better. I don't know why I like that better. I don't know if that's right or not. But for some reason, when I was perfectly centered, it just felt lopsided. Uh, let me, I'm gonna mess with this a little more actually. X offset plus 1.3. It's like middle-ish, it's very much centered and it looks good to me. So I, I'm happy with this. This is great. This is exactly how I wanted this picture to come out. I'm, I'm so happy it came out this way. The last thing I do would be to copy and paste the edit onto the other two photos and check them out and basically decide which one I like. And you do that just by clicking and then doing control V. All right, so I've, I've narrowed it down to one where I'm looking up and one where I'm looking down. 
I'm okay keeping both of these because I can maybe just post one and then in like six months post the other one and no one will know. Except you. But there's like nobody watching, so it's gonna be like 15 of you who know, so like. <laughs> Small creator gang. Okay, so just gonna export these to my computer. I'm gonna airdrop them to my phone, and that's where I kind of just like scrutinize the picture, make sure everything's good because you're gonna see on a, on a phone most of the time, right? So I just wanna make sure everything looks right on the phone. And then, uh, yeah, if I love it, I'll post it on my Instagram, which I typically do. My Instagram is k.bergman. Um, if you're not following it, you should. But more importantly, you should be subscribed to this channel because I do videos about all sorts of stuff. I'm a 22 year old guy going through life. So if you learn anything in this video, or if it inspires you to do your own self portraits, please drop a like on this video. I froze my butt out there for you. And uh, subscribe to the channel, post notifications on, and I will see you very soon. Peace. So yeah, if you want to edit amazing photos, just literally, there are so many preset packs for free on the internet. Just download a preset pack, reverse engineer, see what settings have been tweaked, adjust each one and just be like, okay, this little dial made the shadows go up or down. It made it darker. And then you just teach yourself that. And then you just, just literally go on Google, type in pictures or just pull up your own pictures and just practice, literally practice. Don't post any of them if you don't want to. Just practice, practice, practice. 